Right, my name is Rafi Mayavia from Criticologos.com. Angelique, last time we, we, we spoke, we were talking about secrets, keeping secrets. That's right. So again, uh, about undone uh, secrets, and now there's other secrets. <laughs> That's right. So, Angelique, uh, Laura, thank you for taking a little bit of time to talk about this amazing series. Thank I, I want to change the title. Don't tell anybody. I want to change the title. This is not Maggie's show. This is Dave's and Sammy's show. I don't care what they all say. <laughs> That's uh, that's one. But I'm sticking to the story. What I mean, what is it about? And this is an open question for the two of you. What is it about Dave and Amy's relationship that just works? I, I, I did you first. I yeah, I, I, I mean, it's, I, it's us. It's I, us. I, I, well, I think it's like the idea of like when you when you meet someone that uh, you really click with, and mm-hmm. even though you may be from you know totally different walks of life. Um, that when you click together and you have and you fully embrace the quirks and eccentricities of that person, I, I think that's when like you know anything explosive like magic yeah. kind of happens, yeah. and it's it, we could feel that like kind of right away. It was, mm-hmm. It's been very fun to get to work together and explore this relationship in real time. Mm-hmm. And I think this question is for you, Amy. Yeah, one of the trademarks for her, she's always trying to please everyone. She's like trying, doing, you know, can we make this work or something? Was that something organic that was on the script or did you brought that to the table? Hey, maybe we can try this. (laughs) I mean, literally, that's me. Like, I'm just always trying to make everything happy and work. And, you know, I do my best. And I think that Amy is an optimist and they wrote, I think that's why they thought of me for this character. I mean, I think that part of that was intrinsic in the character, but then that's part of your job as an actor to bring yourself to the role. And then as you go through the season, the writers write to you, right? They write to your strengths. And I think that that's kind of what I, I tend to play those kind of characters that are kind of optimistic and just trying your best. (laughs) I have an open question for the both of you. And I'm talking about the multicultural diversity that's in the series that I absolutely love mm-hmm. how important for you guys is to for for hollywood to be moving forward to go in this direction that when that we want we don't want this to be a subject anymore but how how important how how how, how did you real guys react that to seeing how this diverse characters and, and casting went about uh yeah you first Leonard. uh you know it's it is super important to ha- to um have this kind of casting because it reflects our life um, I am in a biracial relationship myself. And so to be able to, to know that that is also reflected out into the media, um, I think is super important. My kids, it's important mm-hmm. that they see that too. Um, and with that, we normalize that because, you know, we need to understand that there are individual voices and stories within that, within uh, each community and the more that we kind of expand what that community uh, uh, looks like in through media I think that just, that's only going to help right. everyone and and you t- get to tell really great stories like more colorful stories yeah. not just color color but I just mean like it brings like a, a richness and a, mm. to the tapestry of the stories we're telling and I think if I can piggyback on that, I think that you, I can speak for you maybe, but when we were growing up, there wasn't a lot of this on, on camera anywhere. Right. So I think that what's changing is that we're telling stories based on like who's watching. Right. So like we're representing the the audience. Mm -hmm. And I think that's so important. And I also think that we have to be really careful because, you know, we hear a lot of like, Oh, you're working a lot because you're, you're ethnic or you're, you know, you're so lucky that you're ethnic because now you'll always get cast. You'll always work. That's not it. I think that we have to be really careful and understand that the representation is changing, but we're also good actors and we (laughs) deserve, you know what I'm saying? And also like we've been working for years. And I think that part of it also is just that um, the, the stories are just changing. And I think that that's hard for some people to understand, but I think that it's all going to even out and there's plenty for everyone and we're all doing just fine. But I think that if anything, it's just right now, there's this re- this kind of renaissance of um, just people of color in this country and in the world. And I think it's really exciting to be at the forefront of that. And I'm very proud of this show for being so diverse. It's a very diverse cast. Yeah, without speaking of it, you know, we live in this global in a global streaming world. So I think hopefully this will speak to, to speak a global to audience. That's right. That's a great answer. That's what I wanted. I think I'm short. I'm short of time. I maybe one more question. What can the what people expect from the from the series from Maggie? Uh, Lara, you first. 
Uh, I think people can expect a, a really fun, lighthearted, uh, very heartwarming show, uh, something that I think people need, uh, especially after the couple of years that we've had. And I hope that people come out of this really hopeful, hopeful of, of love, hopeful of, um, of new experiences, of new friendships, and being grateful for, for how great things really are right That's now. Right. Yeah, it's a fun, sweet summer show. Yeah. And I, we're so excited. <laughs> and like once again, it was a pleasure to talk to you Thank again. You. And yeah. later, hopefully I can talk to you in the future because this was pretty <laughs> fun. And I love the two of you in the series. Thank you. Thanks so much. Bye now. Bye.